it's a stab in the heart for some of those who went to school here and had great memories here. Windows broken and glass shattered. Police in one Lone Oak County town are investigating who vandalized an old historic school. We're told over the weekend someone broke into the Gartrell School in England. KRK4's Stephanie Sharp talked with people who went there years ago, and they say this is devastating. Stephanie? Well, Ashley, people there tell me this school was the first black school in England. Not only does it have a historic significance, but a local church hopes to revitalize it and renovate it back to being a community center. Now, while well, they're dealing with all of this. It's really unfortunate. The old Gartrell School sits in the town of England. The small building has a big significance to Victoria Woodrard. Why throw it all out of the cabinets? Her dad was the principal, and her mom taught here. That's why it's agonizing for her to see it vandalized sometime over the weekend. It's a stab in the heart for some of those who went to school here and had great memories here. The culprits broke out the windows in the building and took all of the books off the bookshelf, ransacking the entire place. What is represented here is not the heart and the spirit of England. The school originally opened years ago. They say it was the first black school in the community. This is our heritage. This site is a landmark. That brought joy to the community and the black community. The community of Love Church now has ownership over the building. The pastor had plans for its future by renovating it to be a youth center or a place for older adults. But now shards of glass are everywhere. We're not mad at no one, but we are a little bit disappointed about what has happened. You know. He has a message to the people that created this mess. We forgive them, uh, and we can work together. Victoria says it may be a setback for the Gartrell School, but it won't keep them from stepping up and finishing what was created here. This kind of situation doesn't help, unless we can take these lemons and make lemonade. Closed back in the 70s, it turned into a number of different things until it sat empty more than a decade ago. If you know anything about who made this mess, you're asked to call the England Police Department.